I think everybody in the world needs a choir. <laughs> Um, not only is it good for your physical um, ability of being able to stand up and do deep breathing exercises, which Kerry loves to do with us, but also the mental aspect of, you know, just feeling, giving you great self-esteem. Um, this group was formed, the Voice of Frankston was formed in 2014, um, specifically to address the needs of people that maybe wouldn't have access to choir groups, um, whether that's through financial reasons or um, perhaps they have health challenges. So our membership is really broad. We have people who may be experiencing mental health um, illnesses, um, addiction, um, people with disabilities. In all the years that I've worked in choirs, they help in so many ways that you actually don't realise. For a lot of people, uh, particularly our type of membership, um, people are experiencing isolation. They might live on their own, they might be um, out in the world, maybe not even acknowledged, you know, if they've been um, living rough and people just won't even look at them, you know, just walk past them on the street. They walk in the door here and suddenly they're part of a family. This is a very lovely choir and just people look after each other, it's nice. If I'm having a bad day, I literally spend the whole day singing and it really improves my day. It's like, this is me, I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm cool as I am. I don't need to change for people. What we quickly found out is that the choir isn't just a chance for people to sing, it's this amazing opportunity for them to build confidence. Everybody that we met has a different story of how they came to the choir, but also what the act of being in a choir does for them. We all bring our life experience into the room. So songs like True Colours or Can't Take My Eyes Off You or other ones that we sing comes with that wealth of experience that only the people that are in this group have because that's why they're in this group. So the life experience of singing, you know, you with the sad eyes, don't be discouraged. You know, I see your true colours. I see who you are. I see what you bring to our group. I reckon it's fantastic when you're in a, uh, going to somewhere special and you sing amongst with the other, other people and it gives you goosebumps. <laughs> It gives you a thrill that you've done it. The choir is a big family. You, you go along thinking, oh no, I'm going to join the choir. But you join a family and they're all caring and they all look after each other and it's very nice. Um, it builds self-esteem and more self-confidence and I could get up and sing and I could uh, more like appreciate myself a bit more because I was always down on myself, you know, having an illness and things like that. And so that helped me in a lot of ways. The support network that comes from this Voices of Frankston group allows them to really feel like their voice is important. And I'll get emotional because I truly believe that everyone has the right to be heard and everyone's voice is important. It's not just the loud voices, it's the quiet ones that need to be heard. Your true